What's up, folks? It's your boy, Bob Hollywood, back with another exciting review. Today's retro review is going to be of this Diamond Select Angel, Destiny Angel figure. Um, it says Series 2. I'm not sure what exactly Series 1 is, but on the back, you see some cross-promotion of what Series 2 is, and it has Destiny Angel and Spike. This is the angel that we're doing today. We move over to our right. There's that. De De mm, I can't read. Battle damaged Destiny Angel and Spike. So the very same figures as these two, but with some blood on their faces. We've seen those. Well, not on this channel. I've seen those types of figures, both in this style and the older figures. Uh, then you have 50s Angel. That's actually the episode I'm on right now on season two. Uh, I've been watching the show, but that's the episode I'm on right now. And School Hard Spike. And then Sense... Well, not Anne. Well, Sense and Sensitivity Angel. And then Doomed Spike. So, yeah. I'm going to read Angel's bio up here. It's, that's a lot of reading. I'm not going to read Angel's bio up there. When I struggled on reading Battle Damage, I'm going to try to make it so you can see that. But basically, Angel was a very bad man. And he was given a soul by some gypsies that he tried to kill or did kill some of. So now that's how we have the hero angel. I guess technically he is a superhero because he has powers and he's a hero. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to bust this guy out of his plastic present. Oh, wait, real quick before I do that, I want to say where this is from. 2006. 18 years ago? 18 years ago when I graduated high school. I'm getting old. All right. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. I got Angel out of his plastic prison. As you can see in front of him, he has five accessories. He's got these two interchangeable arms, which we're going to go over. These are sleeved arms to match the shirt that he's wearing. So I'm hopefully, I should have applied some heat. I'm actually going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go over these accessories, but then before we try to interchange, I'm going to apply some heat to this guy to make sure he's still good. And uh, yeah, it looks like it just looks like pajama sleeves when it's just the arm by itself. You can see the hand down there has some. Mine has a little bit of sculpting, sculpting discrepancies. You can see with the fingers and the hand, I guess, in the mold. And I'll go over the articulation on this double jointed elbow, full range. Yeah, loose joints. Not loose, but like they're not tight. I'm not being prohibited. So that's the left hand, which is a gripping hand. Here's his right hand, which is an open hand. And that makes me question, I wonder if the hands themselves are interchangeable. I will figure that out once I apply some heat. But yeah, these are his bananas and pajamas hands. I'll put those down. There is this chalice. Nothing in it. It's just, I mean, you could put something in it that'd be weird but it does have space to do it it's not just like a flat piece and then bottom it's gold with some yellow a lot of paint like it's actually painted and as you saw it was on this little base i don't know if that's for it but it does balance even with the base leaning a little bit let's take a look at the base as you can see it's not straight it's leaning but the cup didn't fall, and I don't think it matters which way you stand it. Nope, it's pretty uniform. I mean, there's some slight discrepancies, like this bottom is wider than up there, so I assume that was the bottom, but as you saw just now, it was standing. And this is just brown, one solid piece of brown. It's I believe it's painted brown, which would be, is odd. They could have just you know sculpted it that way but there's little designs and details and nicks and looks like a piece of wood that is have, that has been alive that has been around for a long time but wasn't necessarily kept in the most pristine condition not abused but not protected and he also has this metal pipe in his hand that he was holding with the aid of some rubber let me just stick it back in his hand it is loose in his hand by itself let's stand him back there again we're going to go over this. This has, like, it's just a little sturdy, but it's not heavy. It's not actual metal. So, yeah, I don't think I've gotten to Destiny yet. 
or is that our season one episode? I don't remember. But either way, I'll figure out, you know, what was going on. So like I said, I want to apply some heat beforehand just to see about the switching parts. I'll be right back again. I'm sorry. All right. So I'm back. As soon as I turned the camera off and I picked this guy up to, you know, see how he would work. His jacket, his arms came off no issue. I didn't even apply heat. You can just see it popped out real quick. Only thing I did, I tried to apply some heat to this right hand to see if I could get this arm into that, this hand into that. And it looks like it could come off, but it wasn't trying to budge even with the heat. So I left it. And then, and then you see how his arm pops off so easily. And then these hands are very similar. This one looks better, but they're similar enough that I wasn't going to worry about it. But yeah, the, the jacket went on and off really easily. So now he is in just his pajama shirt. And with the ball joints, they it looks a little old, but it doesn't look terrible. The only thing I don't like is, which I noticed as soon as before started, right before we started recording, was I have a little blemish right there in his hair. It should be brown. It's The paint is coming off. But that is that is what it is. Other than that, he looks pretty decent. Um, you can see these pins that give away his age. And these arms, they come out way too easily. Like, there's literally nothing you can do to stop it from happening. Just shy of gluing them in there. But you wouldn't want to do that. And yeah, they just come out. Which is, it's fine. He's not, it's not like, it's not like I'm going to be doing a whole lot of plow, plow, plowing. I'm going to do a whole lot of plow, plow, plowing. But, um... I think he looks good. Again, he looks dated with the ball joints. But he has a lot of articulation, which we're going to go over in a second. But the pants are solid black. They look like pants. The shirt is white or blue, really light blue with blue stripes and black stripes. And you can see where they got a little sloppy with the paint there. Like, like really sloppy with the paint there in terms of keeping straight lines. You know, in the back, I got some blemishes maybe from this jacket rubbing them. But he looks good. And I'm going to send him back. Let's look at his jacket real quick. Right now, obviously, this just looks like a vest. But it has some pockets there. This is just a solid black piece. Yeah, you can even see where, like, it was in contact with the white shirt. And here are his arms for the jacket. He's got some buttons on the sleeves. Again, double jointed elbows, bicep rotation on those. And you can see there's no balls on these because these aren't going to give you the full range of motion. These are just going to give you the up and downs. It's not going to give you everything that that one can do by one. But yeah, nice details. Nice details. So let's go over this guy's articulation. Let me take his arms out real quick. This is going to look weird. But that's his... My camera doesn't want to focus. That's where his head starts. It goes down that much. Comes up back to where it starts. It doesn't go back at all. It's going to rotate 360 degrees. No no issues. It's going to do that. It's going to give you some, some attitude. And I got a little spot on his nose as well. And as you notice, his face, he's a vampire. I'm sorry I didn't say that. Angel is a vampire, but this is him in vampire form as opposed to him looking normal, passable on the street. He looks like a Klingon. All right, let's try this arm articulation. It's going to rotate at the shoulder. <laughs> it's going to rotate at the shoulder completely. And it's going to go all up. You're going to get way more than a full T. This is wild. This is wild. My camera does not want to focus on there. Plastic there. And he's going to rotate at the biceps. Again, double jointed elbows, so he can he can be cute. Oh, look at me! I'm Angel. It does not want to focus today. Nice red eyes, or maybe they're brown. They're red, and uh, his hands rotate. 
his hands rotate 360 no hinges there at the hands which is fine Articul articulation at the waist he is there he is tight he's tight like a toyger I'm gonna go ahead and apply some heat to that normally I wouldn't do it on camera Normally I wouldn't do it on camera, but we're living in the ghetto, so, and that wasn't enough heat. I'll be right back again. And I'm back, just like cooked crack. Okay, that's where he starts at, goes forward slightly, goes back just very little enough that you can see that his is not painted past that. I don't know why they wouldn't just paint the whole piece. You know what, like... Why would they put it together like this and then paint it when they could have... I digress. Obviously, they did it because it was cheaper, but you know what I mean. It's, it's also going to rotate at the lower half. I'm going to take his... I'm going to take his arms off. That's what you get for splits. And again, he's on these ball joints, so you can see where the hinges are. So right now, he's not going to kick forward at all unless you rotate. Ah, it's tight. Oh, that's really tight. Even with the heat, that, that was a little scary. I'm trying to... That's the best I can do right now. His ball joints are a thing of the past, thankfully. Those ball joint hips at least. I'm just trying to get him in a groove so he can stand it back up. And he's got these rotations, as you can see, at the ball joint. And his knees are double jointed. Very easily kick his own ass. If he had less ass or less pants, he his knee would go even further. Nothing for a boot or anything, but he does have oh now it's tight. God damn, this toy is tight. Forward facing pin. Oh, excuse me, that's a rocker. What the hell am I talking about? But that's all you're going to get on that foot other than some toe articulation. Again, still super tight. I'm not applying any more heat. He has toe articulation, folks. This has been officially the worst review in melodramatic plastic history. Not the figure itself. It's just me being together. I am not. I am not together today. Um, let's get his height. Looks like it's about six and a half, which is cool. I'm going to bring in the review crew. Let's see how he stacks up to a Wakandan and the black, well, Eric Killmonger, Golden Jaguar, Black Panther. He was the king for a second. And they're almost the same height. They're about the same height. And then there we go. Winston Zedmore. He's like a, almost a head taller than Winston. Let's bring in Lucio. We got Lucio and Liam. And then we have John. He's taller than both of them. He's taller than both. Barely taller than uh, John, but taller nonetheless. And then we have Roadblock. The two big boys of the crew. Roadblock and Titus. He is shorter than both of them. Just, you know, almost a head shorter than Titus, but him and Roadblock are closer than you would think. And then you bring in Vixen. And Andra. And normally those two look to be closer to height, but Vixen appears to be taller than Angel, but Andra appears to be shorter. About the same height. Her ankles are being weird. And for our final size comparison, it's going to be Devin. And Lando, which he's taller than both. 
So yeah, this is a pretty decent figure. You're gonna have some trouble with his um, arms, with these arms in particular. But the jacketed arms don't give you any trouble. They just have slightly less range of motion. That one popped out on me. Maybe I lied. I spoke too soon. But he looks good. Either way, he looks good. I, I, I like the idea of a figure that he could be in a suit or at least the jacket and pants. And you know, he maybe sits down in his office and he's like, hey, I'm tired. And he takes off his jacket. And you can do that because very many toys give you this part, this little jacket. But they don't give you those arms to be able to fully utilize that. So that's good. Whoops. That's good. I'm glad I have this guy. Look forward to more Angel Reviews because I love the show. It's 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 top five. It's probably my second favorite show of all time. Maybe three. I don't know how I feel about The Walking Dead sometimes. I love it. I just don't know where it ranks. Anyway, folks, I appreciate you for being here. I appreciate you for hitting that like button at the end of it. I appreciate you for hitting that subscribe button at the beginning of it. And now I'm appreciating you hitting that comment, you know, because comment we need those we need engagement we need traffic we need viewers we need a community here because that's what bob hollywood and holly world and melodramatic plastic is all about it's all about community and i want you to be a part of it so thank you for being here again action figures speak loud in the words